as always, don't forget, this is an adult doll collector's channel. So if you are younger than 18, you need your parents' permission to watch my channel. going to um, make a pillow to put in the fruitazon. Now I did this video back on August 3rd of last year but I never quite figured out how I was going to make the pillow to go in the base of this thing so it would support the weight of the dolls and they wouldn't sink down into the chair. So after much consideration I kind of figured out how I was going to do this. So we're going to do a little recycling and a little sewing so I can uh, upfit this to match my patio furniture set that I made in the last few videos. So that's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned and we'll get right to it. So while I've had since last August to figure out how I was going to make a cushion and a base for this fruit design chair, I started looking at different things and I found this takeout container. I think I had some Chinese takeout. So when I put it together, and I sat it inside of the chair. It fit perfectly like so. So this will be enough rigidity and uh, firmness to keep whatever pillow I put on top of it from sinking in the bottom. So this is going to be the base of my cushion. And I'm going to make two cushions today. One I'm going to use um, the glue gun and some fabric, cardboard and some foam to make and then I'm going to actually sew a round cushion to go inside of this. So that's what we're doing today. Now I'm not going to glue the container together just in case I may want to take it apart for whatever reason. Um, but this is what I plan to do with this. So first thing I cut a piece of cardboard to glue on top of the lid here and I cut a piece of recycled foam that we got in some packaging for probably some camera equipment or something we ordered and so I'm going to recycle that so I made a circle to fit the cardboard so I'm going to take the hot glue gun and I am going to glue this on so that's what we're doing now going to use one of the Dollar Tree towels. This is a piece of the coordinating fabric that we have. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to try to center the medallion on top of it.
down. And now I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut off the excess fabric here. of that linen placemat that I got from Walmart. I had just this much left. I was originally going to use it to make some pillows and cushions out of, but then once I fit the um, container into the chair, and I'll show you what that looks like, it has a lot of dead space around the rim here. I don't know if you can get a shot of that from above and see what I'm talking about in here. But I didn't like that. So what I want to do is kind of make a little skirt to go around the base of the container. Then that way it'll fill in some of the space. So I'm going to do my best to try to glue this to the very edge of this and make a little skirt to go around. So that's what we're doing here. And as always, if you're using your hot glue gun, scissors, and things like that, be very careful. And also, if you're younger than 18, you need your parents' permission to watch my channel. This is an adult doll collecting channel.
So that fills up that space. And if you guys remember from the previous videos, I made these to go on the lounger. So my idea was is that I'm going to make a cushion and this will serve as like a bolster for a back for the chair for the dolls to lean against. So this is what it's looking like now. And it's firm enough so that when I put the dolls, when I sit them on top, they're not gonna sink into the bottom of the chair. All right, so I went ahead and I cut out the two circles of fabric from that turquoise uh, linen place mat, and I have it all pinned together. And I have my fabric um, right side to right side. I'm glad I just caught this. I left the label on there, how about that? All right, so we're just going to um, sew this around like three fourths of the way, and then I'm gonna leave a pocket in there so I can stuff it with my uh, pillow stuffing. So that's what we're getting ready to do now. to get the pillow stuffing and we'll get that all stuffed out and everything and then we'll sew up the opening to that and then next I wanted to make one last pillow to go around the perimeter so I have a, a bunch of different options um, as far as fabric I can change out the looks and everything but basically all these colors work together so everything will be able to coordinate with it and I'm just going to Run a seam down here, close up one end, and then, um, well actually, I'll do it the other way. I'll sew each end and leave an opening in the middle. That might make it easier for me to stuff this. So let's try it that way. So let me just get this cut out.
this one too. We're going to make the bolster pillow for the back of the chair now. So I'm just going to sew these little three sides up and then we'll get the pillow stuffing and we'll get on with it. to that part but I forgot so we will just have to step it from this open end right here and get that turn inside out pillow stuffed and get these seams the openings closed up so we can see how it's going to look
let's get this one stuffed. And let me get a needle dirty and we'll hand sew these. Okay, so we're gonna sew up this little bit here. here but I'll have to watch a couple of YouTube videos to figure out how to do that in the future but it's sewed up and this is the part that will be facing the back of the chair so I'm kind of satisfied with it it isn't perfect but it's good enough for me and at the end of the day that is all that we have repurposed into a hanging rattan chair for our Barbie and Fashion Royalty dolls. So I made a couple of cushions. Um, I made one with a foam and cardboard backing where I just glued, um, used hot glue 
to upholster this cushion. And then I made the rounded uh, linen turquoise pillow and I made these pillows, one of which is a pillow that will work for the recliner that I made in a couple of videos ago and the one that I made today to go around it. So I like all the different colors. It looks like patio furniture. I'm quite pleased. I'm sure I could have done a um, more flawless look for it or more pull together look but for my crafting purposes I am extremely pleased with myself so if you guys have any questions we're going to get you some shots with the dolls in the um, chair hanging out just so you can see how it turned out and everything and then in an upcoming video I'm going to show you my whole patio ensemble put together so thank you guys for coming back I hope everybody's safe and doing well and as always, your family to me, and I thank you for watching my videos. And if you have a comment, please leave one. If you have any questions, I always am glad to share with you. And give this video a like if you like it. And if you haven't subscribed, then I ask that you please subscribe. Talk to you later. Y'all take care. Bye.